Alright guys, well welcome back to some more Satisfactory. So today's day we're gonna go check out the Spooky Cave. But before we do that, we just need to set up a couple quick little production lines that we're gonna pretty much rewrite in a little bit anyway. But, I do need to get the motors automatically being made. To make the motors, I have to go over here and see what they actually need to do. But I ended up moving all of these storage stuff, um last time off camera as we changed our storage system around so we could handle the steel stuff that we're producing. Um, but we need to get motors so we can get better um, conveyor belts. So it takes rotors and stators. Now stators require the pipes and some copper wire. So we're going to need to convert some of our steel pipes into... Um, the stators. And we're also going to probably eventually need the steel beams and encase steel beams. This seems to be more just for construction for right now, so this might not be something we need a huge amount produced of. Actually, no. That looks like the heavy modular frames required. But that's next step. So. We need to set up a construction thing. We already have rotors being produced, so we need to produce stators and then feed stators and rotors into motors. Alright, so it is wire and pipes. So basically to do that, we're going to need two constructors. So let's go grab our resources, because I just realized I didn't ever grab any of my extra resources out of the um, box over here. Moving along on our conveyor belts. Alright, so let's take all of our stuff back. It is ugh, woefully unorganized every time we do that, but a lot of concrete. <laughs> Why do we have iron ingots? We just Okay, we just have lots of random crap stuck piling up in our inventory again. We got rotors. Got far too many pipes. There we go. At least somewhat organized. Alright, so we can break this thing down. Alright. So what we need to do... Is take some of our copper wire... And our pipes and convert them into the next tier. So, which one of you are pipes? You are plates. You are pipes, but had, apparently had... Wait, why are the rotors going into you? Oh, I never t pulled the... We, we filled up on rotors and I never pulled them out of the second container. That's why. Yeah, there we are. This is the rotor box. Okay. That simplifies things. Glad I left this little walkway here, otherwise I'd never have been able to organize that. Who is this area looking for potential build sites? Not great. Not really great. But, I mean, I guess we could use the hilltops and stuff eventually. Alright. So it needs to be two assembly line things. I guess we just pipe it up there for now. Um, so basically, the products of the motors have to be combined with the rotors to make the engines. And then the stator production facility... So I think it's assembler. Yeah, we need assemblers. So, two assemblers. And we'll deal with finding a better place for these later on. Right now we just need the room to work. Is that going to be enough room between the two of them to run? No. Okay. 
You need to kind of have them like offset a little bit like this. There we go. All right. So now we need to get. There's a lot of berries just right around base. I'm going to keep picking them because we're going to be adventuring today, so we need to actually start stockpiling these guys. All right. So, first assembler is going to be making us staters. Second assembler is going to be making us motors from staters and rotors. Which means our rotors, which are plates, rotors, feeds into the second one. And this one is wire. Uh, where is my plates? Go, because we're going to be using a lot of these. Uh, which one was wire again? This one. Wire goes in this side. Hmm. I'm noticing a uh, minor issue with our arrangement here, but that's fine. We can work around that. It's a complete mess, but it now works. So now we just need to run our power grid over here, because we have never moved our power grid behind the uh, behind the storage containers before. So let's put a power pole here. Really? We, we need copper wire. Literally one of our most plentiful natural resources. We need it. And of course because it's feeding out of the back of the damn thing. We don't have two stacks of it. We're gonna need to start upping our production of it because, uh, yeah. It has now become a limiting resource and we already have our, we have our uh, copper thing turned way down, so we can always turn that back up now. At least make it rotate and look nice, there we go. have another power pole here. I don't really care that it's consuming this because we don't need that much concrete for anything ever. There we go. And then we'll run a temporary power line to just over here. And conveyor belt out of here into there. So you are producing six staters a minute, which is just a breakneck speed. Oh yeah. Um, so you're consuming 18 pipes a minute, 60 wires a minute. You will fill up probably pretty quickly. And you're using a whole 10 and 10 a minute. So what's your production? 6, and you're trying to use 10. So yeah, you're not even at full power. But we'll leave you, because our power grid, I believe... Yeah, our power grid's solid enough for right now. And then... We get to play this fun little game. And then we get to wrap this around the building. Yeah. 
to our input over here. Too steep, of course it is. There we go. It looks like absolute trash, but it'll move our finalized motors into there. So now, while we head off and go do other productive things, wow, I really did not need to make that too tall. Yeah, maybe I didn't need to make that three tall, or whatever. It just goes up for no reason. Um, we could have actually probably slid it underneath here. Anyway. That's going to produce the rotors we need to get to our next milestone. The problem is it's going to be doing it very, very slowly at the rate of like five a minute. This one still has some frames that I never moved out. Uh, is this the frame? Wait. Wait a second. Where's our frames going? Oh no! We didn't have an extra storage unit at all. Uh, we got a backup of our frames. Um, all right, new plan. Whoops. I knew we were forgetting something, but it, it, we connected that line so far over there that when I moved the lines, I didn't notice it was disconnected. Ah! Oh, that's great. Just back this thing up. We'll just stick a storage unit back here. It looks like absolute crap, considering how organized everything else we have, but sometimes you just gotta set it up real quick just to get it to work. There we go. We're all up to seven motors already. Woohoo, we've made so many. And then this box is for. Oh no, we've actually made 11. It's for the frames. Alright, so we're up to 12, but it's still gonna take some time. So now, if we're going on our journey, let me stock up on the essentials and unstock up on the stuff that we're not going to need a 10 million stack of. Um, that's the rotors. What is this one? Super plates. Uh, we got one stack of super plates. Okay, let's... We're going to want one stack of wires. Ace. You know, let's go three stacks of concrete, because we're going to have to build a lot of staircases and stuff. One stack of tubing. We don't need the rotors. Yeah, let's take the, a stack of rotors and a stack of frames, just to be safe. We've got a stack of the plates. We're going to need another stack of the little plates. You know what, let's take two stacks of these to be safe. Um, screws. We don't really need the screws, like, ever. Take a stack of wire. And the rest of the stuff can be put away. Uh, get some pipes we don't need. These steel ingots need to, uh, be put away in a different fashion. I think our concrete production is maxed. Grab two stacks of these plates, because those are kind of on the important side for construction work. Ah, we have nowhere to store all of our uh, other stuff. All 
All right. Why do I have motors on me? Why did I put all the motors away? I didn't need these motors. There we go. 18 motors. All right. Let's go gear up for a field trip. I'm excited. I want to see what's down in that cave. And that'll give these motors some time to produce themselves. It's been a while since we batten back over here to our original base. I think we don't need to sleep or anything. Alright. Adventure supplies will now be in that box. None of the rest of this stuff needs to be taken with us. We are going to need some biofuel for our chainsaw, just in case. And I'm going to make another stack of rivets. Because you never know how much danger is going to be in that cave, so it might not be a bad idea to have a ready stockpile of ammo. Easy access food sources. Uh, what else did we have in here? We had a spray paint gun, which we don't need. All right. And I'm going to make us an expedition vehicle. So do we have enough to make another vehicle? Yep. We have plenty to make an expedition vehicle. I'm also going to go turn off a couple of those uh, markers, because it, it's a lot of markers. And we don't really need to mark the uh, some of the things. Oh, cool. We can actually just walk down past the coal plants. I was thinking I was going to be stuck against that wall. Everything working down here? Looks like it's going smoothly. Why are you yellow? Are you not getting enough stuff? 30 a minute in. 30 a minute out. Oh, yeah, because they're going to be slightly under because we don't have the good conveyor belts yet, so we're only able to move a max of 120, and these things actually consume 135 coal a minute. But that's fine. All right. Now we have a truck. Let's take a stack of coal for fuel. And now we have a mobile workbench, which will also come in handy. All right, adventure time. We're stuck on a rock. We're not really gonna go anywhere. Placed it down on a flower. Ah, great start to our trip. All right. Boy, these things chug fuel. It's like a entire coal to move like 10 feet with this thing. Okay, that's where the spooky cave is. We'll top off here. Those berries haven't grown back yet. No, I'm actually going to drive this thing down there when I disable that uh, supply drop beacon. Because this way I can just motor through this toxin field, hopefully, before the flowers know I'm here. I want to get that slug, but it is right in the middle of this field. Beep, beep. Oh, <laughs> All right, it's okay. Oh, as we nearly flip ourselves. All right. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. 
So, new plan, rather than putting down these markers at any of these ships that we've already managed to finish off, I'm going to minimize the beacons, and we'll just put a power pole here. Because then I'll be like, oh, okay, I already have a power pole here. I've already tried opening that. And now our map's a little bit better, because now we have the location for coal base, and we don't have to care. All right, spooky cave. And hopefully the flowers toxins have vanished a little bit and we have the ability to uh, sneak through here. Oh, I want that slug, but it's a trap. This thing is not fuel efficient. Holy crap. Alright, spooky cave up over here. Also does not seem to have a break. Alright, well now we have a mobile workbench, should we need it. There's also a source of iron right here. Alright, let's make sure we've got everything we're going to need. Here's our spooky cave marker. Can we build a staircase all the way from the bottom without going down it? Looks like we can. <laughs> Guaranteeing an escape route before even going in. I don't know if that's actually attaching to the top of the stairs or the bottom. You know what would have been really, really smart for us to make? Parachutes. Didn't make parachutes. There's no mushroom trees in, nearby. Yeah. Didn't think that one through. All right, we got some mushroom trees right over here. So what do the parachutes take? Parachutes are... not made at this thing, because they're made the equipment workbench, which is not what this is. There's a nice, lovely area right there we could expand some factory production output stuff towards. So that's not a bad idea. Yep. My god, that thing just keeps going. Alright, this guy makes us parachutes. So we need fabric. And for fabric, we need mycelium, which we did not have in here. That's fine. Get our chainsaw out. We don't have any biofuel. That's the one thing I didn't grab a stack of. Luckily, we can make it. All right, that'll make us a little over a stack. All right, I don't care past 100. All right, I need to go chop down one mushroom tree to get enough mush mycelium to make the fabric. Uh, there's some mushroom trees down here. go. 24 mycelia, and we'll just make whatever number of uh, parachutes that will let us have. Ha! Ah, adventuring! I am bad at it. What is this miner doing? 
Oh my god, the miner is producing more pipes so this drill can keep going down farther. That's cool. I never knew it. I never saw that animation before. Alright. Fabric. Parachutes. All right, and then all of our extra stuff can go in here. That is necessary. That is not. And parachutes, get equipped. We got 10 parachutes only, so we gotta be a little careful, but that should still last us for a while. All right, onward to adventure. I'm glad we have a truck, otherwise this would be a lot of running for really no reason. Time to explore the spooky cave. also build a cross, so there might actually be worth something going that way as well. But first, there was a creature in here the last time we were here. So let's get ready for combat! Parachute, thank you. Always secure your way out of a dangerous situation before advancing. Glad I brought 300 concrete. Didn't realize these stairs were quite this expensive, and that is a long way up. You know, we've never made the jump pads. I just realized that we had those, and I have never made them. Ah, they take power. Unfortunate. Alright, we'll play around with them when we get home, because that would have actually probably been the smarter solution to this, would be and just have uh, a jump pad. almost uh, hit the foundation perfectly. There we are. Now we have a nice ramp that actually connects up properly. And then what we can do is down a floor here. Use this to build our foundations across to explore the upper areas of the cave, which there does seem to be a bridge over there. We can also be really cheeky and uh, do this. I don't think we have enough materials, but if we wanted to, we could just make conveyor poles. Oh my god, this is actually a way better way of doing this. Insta bridge. I am genius. Simply find the location you want to end up.
Catch a ride. Make sure that you can get back. Yep. Oh, I was wondering what was flashing on my screen. It was the disassembly thing. Um, this is a hell of a cave. I got an even br more brilliant idea. You don't need a second pole because, or not a, you, you do need a second pole, but you don't need a second thing. You just disassemble the conveyor belt and then switch it up the other way and you can go backwards. Sweet, I now have an extra conveyor pole worth of material. Now the issue is I'm running out of iron plates. Aha, there's another super crystal over here. I guess we could have just taken the ground route, but, you know, what fun is that when you can point-to-point uh, point yourself with conveyor belt? Does that go up into anything? You know what? Let's go check it out. Nope, no special deposits, no special materials or anything. Wait, that's a purple slug! Whoa. Purple power slug. What are you? Strange power, strange, strange, powerful, strange power. All right. Anything else in this cave? Well, let's go explore the lower levels. Is that like a resource we can mine, or is that just more rocks? Just more rocks. I want to see what I can turn a purple power slug into. All right. Also, it seems like the uh, inhabitants of this cave are not inhabiting it anymore, which is I'm not going to complain. We've got the stuff to handle combat. Oh, the cave exploration can be handled with conveyor belts. And actually, there's another drop pod that we can go handle while we're here, then. Let's see, is this all just dead ends? Yeah, it looks like that is it for the cave. All right, well, let's, uh, we'll leave our pillars in case we ever need to come back in here. But, uh, cool, spooky cave is uh, purple slug. We can recover all of our, uh, all the plates that we used by just converting it back. Nice. So convenient. Doesn't go up into anything. Doesn't look like there's any side caves. Nope. Oh, 
Oh, that is such a slick system. That is using the tools the game gave you for things that they may or may not have been intended for. Alright, we always have a way out of that cave if we ever need it, so that's good. Alright, so which way was that crash ship? I think it was over by our coal base. Oh, that's so cool. Um, yeah, I don't have any desire to produce more plates. We should have more than enough right now. If not, we can always head back to main base and pick up some more. Yeah, I might just do that, because these conveyor belts are super handy, and I kind of want to keep making them. And we're right here. Well, that was a fun little adventure, and we can have some more, maybe get a new recipe, which would be very nice. I'm gonna grab a couple stacks of coal, because actually be nice to have. There is a command console. Why have I never seen this command console? I never was over here. Huh. I've just been always clicking on from the side. 150 motors to get to the next tier. And is that the next frame, or is that the shit frames? Those are the shit frames. All right, we can unlock the rest of the tech tree that's currently in the game for too long. Ooh, the purple power slug. Let's get it researching, too, while we're here. Let's see, how many do we have? We got a 50 stack. We'll send these off, and then we'll have access to the even better conveyor belts when we get back. I was getting something. Plates! It should be one of these. Let's top off our stack. It's always good to have lots of those plates. We could also make the super conveyor belts and really zip ourselves around. There we go. Also, I think I have some more mycelium. How many parachutes do we use? One. All right, I think we're okay. Nine parachutes should be enough, but we can always make a couple more. Actually, it's probably a good idea to make a couple more, honestly. Twenty-five parachutes should do us. We also have our improved Zeno Basher, which we never got to use. There we go, twenty-four stack. Let's research a power slug. Purple power slug. Ten minutes. Sadly, it destroys the first one we ever found of it, but at least does that. Or at least we'll uh, see what it is. All right, the button is up, but uh, I don't. Well, yeah, might as well launch it. Milestone reached. Logistics have improved by the means of a container with increased storage capacity and enhanced conveyor belt efficiency. Nice. So now what we can do is we can upgrade this place. Which one's concrete storage? Oop. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot we had a scanner dealie. Uh, where's my personal storage? I like how my personal storage thing has just about as much space as these things. We just can't put belts into them. Container Mark II, fifth. Oh! It requires 15 of the enhanced beams and 15 pipes. You know what? We actually have that. We've got 
enough concrete on in here. Let's just... I don't want to walk. I'm just going to craft a bench and then uncraft it. Fifteen of these. Does that stay real unloaded or reloaded? No, nope. you actually have to complete the animation to keep it reloaded. All right. Are these being... Yeah, they're being used about as often as they're being produced. We might actually be a little bit behind, but that's fine. Look at that thing. Alright. So that gives us some extra storage capacity for when we need to uh, handle things that are completely gummed up for production. concrete back into here. It's so nice to have all that extra storage, though. Because we're going to be needing this concrete for the beams once we're done, so... There we go. Alright. To adventure! Now with a uh, significantly larger supply of plates, so that way we can just, uh... Oh my god, that thing ran out of energy fast. Alright, we're gonna stock off and uh, get a few stacks of coal. So apparently, these vehicles are the least energy efficient things in the universe. Biofuel seems to last longer than the coal does. Way, and then put that stuff in the storage so that way we can save our precious biofuel for when we need to cut down trees. Alright, now we know about the crash spaceship that's over by Coal Base, so let's head to Coal Base. See if we can't get ourselves a new, uh, a new toy. You fucking dare. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah! Go! No, don't. Drive, drive, drive. Oh my god, drive! Ow. So there's another slug on that tree over there. <sighs> Thing. Curse you, plants. Oh my god, stop spraying crap. I need to get my truck back. <laughs> Alright, you know what? While I'm waiting... Oh, it finished. Okay. So apparently the truck doesn't like operating under that situation. I don't need to edit the path. I just need to drive the truck. Oh, I parked it on the path, so I was editing the damn nodes rather than uh, driving. Hey, puppies! Oh, I do not have my uh, gun equipped. All right, fluffy tail hogs. Oh, 
All right, one down. That was a miss. Another miss. I am actually losing my ability to shoot these things. Two down, and... Three. Alright. Alien carapace loot acquired. Green power slug acquired. Some berries. The uh, scanner thing out, I think, actually. No, stop inventorying. I need this. You're on a damn floating rock? Alright, alright. I accept this challenge, because I have conveyor belt ladders. Oh, that is full of gas plants. Oh, there's a sweet spot. We can do this. There's no gas plants right up here. There's a gas rock but I think we should be able to do it from here. Conveyor belt is too long. We could just jump off and then disassemble it. Conveyor belts also work like people. All right, you gotta hurry. Shit. All right. Yellow power slug? What? Okay, geez. Enough, uh... Gas there? Parachutes. Worth it. Perfect. Ah, 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 success. So I'm really glad that the scanner thing doesn't give a crap about what kind of power slug it is. Alright, we're currently full up on them. Alright, now onward to the other thing. So now we can research the yellow power slug. So I'm guessing, like, yellow and purple might do different power level differences. I don't know. Oh, this world is so much easier to explore now that I figured out the, the traveling along with those things. Alright. Let us first quickly have a berry. Uh-oh. Oop, a little bit of lag there. What fun new areas. I bet you there's a slug right there. See one way down over there, right above the little green light. I think that's the one it's detecting, actually. All right, well, let's focus on getting this ship down then, or getting the loot out of this ship.
Yellow slug. Now we can actually craft something with it. Because the first one will vanish to the research. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, what kind of goodies? Heat sinks. Always useful. Modular frames. Ooh, that's actually, I think, enough modular frames. Circuit boards. Ooh. Full on motors. This one was worth quite a bit. Oh, it's killing my frames, though. Alright, let's get up there and, uh,. Assess the situation, see if we do need to power this one or not. Because it might not even require power. Okay. I can't have those berries then. I get it, game. It's a cool forest path. Alright. Come on, there's a sweet spot right there. gonna be too steep. Yep, figured. Alright. Still too steep. Hmm. Is that a cave? Nope, just an indent in the rock. I guess we just walk up and around. Place is foggy, but doesn't seem toxic, so that's okay. <gasps> Another power slug. Oh, we are going to be able to overclock everything. It's a yellow one, too. Nice, nice. Really want to chop down one of those really big trees just to see how much wood it gives me, but... Also, at the same time, I don't. fun of mountain climbing. Ah, there's the slug down there. All the fun of mountain climbing without actually having to climb anything. All the fun of mountain climbing, all the convenience of an airport. Or a mall. Sometimes the malls have the horizontal ones. Usually they just have escalators, though. Two high-speed... What? <laughs> High-speed connectors. Do I have those? I don't even have the technology for that. High-speed connector connects several cables and wires in a very efficient way. This is a standard pattern, so applications are many and varied. Oh, well, the other one just needed power. This one actually needs, like, stuff. I guess I'll keep the conveyor belt system up, then. Is there any more goodies strewn about up here? Another one of those uh, things. Look at that. There's power slug right there. Power slug right there. These are the best bridges. Doesn't seem to be any more loot and goodies for this downed pod. Can we see another down pod from here? Maybe that one we can actually use just with power. Okay, so that guy looks really, really big. Oh, there's another one of those uh, crystal things. So he's guarding that crystal. These guys look little, little, bit tiny, and they're closer. That guy is enormous. He's half the size of one of the cows. So that's like a boss fight. Let's see, we got 
More of that jet deserty jungle over there. I can get past these three for that slug. I think I can do that. Let's see if we can't just get ourselves... Actually, shh. we don't need to make a conveyor belt pad because we don't need to get back up here. Because we can just, yeah, walk back up that way. Oh, wow, this thing has uh, max range. Good to know. All right, check your back. That, that is so fucking cool. The space elevator actually casts a shadow that can be seen on the world. That's really cool. I was not expecting that in beta. All right, hotheads. Come for the slug. Is afraid of me? Nope, now you're angry. got a little close at the end there. I was trying to see if, like, if you shoot them right when they shoot out. Like, the wait for them to open their mouth, it's their weak spot kind of a thing, but no. Doesn't seem to matter. I'll miss that one. Well, I'm glad I made 100 shots. Nope. Guess we're both bad at prediction, huh, buddy? Difference is, I'm the one walking away alive. God damn, that one is big. Yeah, let's not go down that way. I'm gonna grab this slug and I'm heading back up to the car. Maybe grabbing that one if I could figure out a way of getting up onto it. I think we should be. Yeah, there's a lot of slugs. They are just all over out here. This is slug land. You know what? I dub the. Slugland. Alright, I think that's the way back up to my car. Any day now, parachute, jeez. Like, it's not a manual activate, it's an, it like, has to be activated. I don't want to go for that crystal. We don't have any use for them anyway, because they're still work in progress, so it's not worth running out there and fighting that thing. Alright, one last check over here. Are there any goodies that we can take with us? Perhaps these high-speed cable things? No. Alright, so this one needs high-speed connectors. Oh, I probably should have marked that. Oh, well. I'll remember. Or be able to produce them by the next time I'm out here. Speaking of producing... Let us get our... Rebar stocks back up. Wow, we used uh, quite a few of the shots. There we go. Combine those stacks, move these things down. Alright, well we did acquire a lot of really rare material parts, so that's actually quite nice. Alright, um, hmm. I don't know where else we... Well, let's drive this way then, I guess, because uh, this isn't actually the way we came. Let's see if we can even enter into this section of the forest or if it'll kill us instantly. And this thing does not like hills. Holy crap. There's a 
resource up here. I wanted to see what it is. I don't want to get lost in the jungle. At least out in the open terrain I can see things. Is that just an iron node? Yep. At least you can always find iron ore to re, you know, equip yourself. Some more berries. Now, oh, this is a cool area. Frames do not like it, but it's the big trees. Let's see if we can drive down, because there's like a way into the like other side of our uh, location down here. So maybe we can drive this down through here. Oh, cool. We can just smash through some trees and stuff. Squeeze through. Uh, uh, uh oh. Okay, we didn't get stuck. Just drive up then. Hey, we found a power slug. Oh my god, Sunrise scared the shit out of me. Oh, that is beautiful though. Are you trapped in there, Power Slug? Well, don't worry. I can save you. Yay, we have saved the Power Slug. And collected a whole bunch of shit we don't need. This is a really dumb idea, driving this tractor along this precarious bridge, but why the hell not? So there's coal base. We've got canyon over that way. That's where all the big trees are. We've got, looks like a couple of deposits up here. What are these guys? I didn't bring enough stuff to make a miner, but... Might be able to throw something together. Oh, look at that. There's boulders blocking that canyon off. So, yeah, we eventually will get something like dynamite or something we can use to break that. Caterium ore. Interesting. And, yeah, there's another, like, needing to dynamite at rock. It's like gold. Now see, this is a normal node, so it's not pure or impure. Let's get 20 of it. So that's kind of cool. Let's uh, mark this thing down. C-A-T-E-R-U-M. I-U-M. Not that... You know what? We actually don't need to mark this. Um, because we'll have it on our scanner eventually. Alright. Can we keep driving this way? Or is there a cliff edge somewhere? No, we keep driving. Eventually, I think what I'm going to have to do is just deconstruct the car. Actually, can I even... Uh. Okay, so there's some gas stuff that we can't get to. We just drive up really, really, really the wrong way. I think we can actually get down over here. I see the power slug, though. Alright, let's see if we can get the power slug. Convenience of modern life. This is the living. Don't even have to climb down or parkour. You just build a conveyor belt. It takes you where you need to go. Oh, and then you need to go back? Well, you just go boom. 
conveyor belt will lift you to new heights in Satisfactory. And then I can get my poles back. Nice. I feel like that later on they're going to have a upgrade and requirement thing where you have to, you know, advance a little bit to get that range because uh, that's pretty powerful being able to just... Oh, look, I see the spot over there. I'm going to go to it. So, yeah, there's something cool up this canyon. It wouldn't just block it off. Oh, I see a slug on the other side with boulders. Didn't want you up here. Can I just walk through these? No. I just realized I don't actually have to be building conveyor belts to get up things. Do it the good old fashioned way with ramps. Okay, the ramps don't seem to be working properly. Come on, show me that sweet spot. Gas is coming down. Oh. Oh, you are well under guard, Mr. Yellow Slug. It's a little precarious of a position. Slug there. It looks like a rock of uh, Caterium ore. That's one. Wow. Double kill! Alright, let me get a anchor point up here. Just to ensure that I can get back up if needed. Yellow power slug! Pure caterium. Hmm. I don't know if we can get over this one. This one seems like one we actually have to break. Or we can get up on top and look over. But that's all death plants, so... I'm gonna leave these ones in place. Because, uh, they're gonna be handy when it comes to... Oh, wow, well, you can actually just force yourself past the, uh, slow conveyor belts. They're gonna be handy when we come back this way. Is that a cave? Ooh, you are a red one. Oh, you a big boy. Um. Angry cave. We'll come back for you. I want to get back to my factory. If I go down this way, it'll go back to coal base. Yeah. What the hell are you? Okay, hold on. Exploration not over. Now do I 
get in there. Mercer Sphere, work in progress. I strongly advise you. Sorry, you strongly advise me what? I'm gonna put you back down. Some alien voice just told me I strongly advise you to not do that, maybe. Um. Well, the problem is their warning came when I was like 95% done picking it up, so... Whoops. Let's see if we can learn anything about this thing. Mercer Sphere. Weird alien thing with an impossibly smooth surface. Work in progress. Analyzing this will not give you anything. And we got some secrets. We actually did not do too badly for this expedition. Look at all the stuff we got. Just taking all the stuff out of the tractor just in case I have to dump it somewhere. Right, let's burn past these plants before they can spread the gas. We'll never get we'll have to get that slug another time. Then we just have to get past the other gas field. Oops, excuse me. Alright, and then we have the angry cave, which has one of those red ones, which I'm assuming are like alphas or bosses or something. We'll have to see. We can drive fast, though these guys aren't an issue. Well, that was a cool area. We found another work in progress thing. Two new kinds of power slugs, which we need to go see the research on the purple ones. Bet you the purple ones are the best ones. Not too bad at all. We'll park our, uh... Yeah, park our vehicle. My god, you need to have some brakes. Holy crap, its momentum is just insanely powerful. Alright. Let's head back to main base and do some research. I don't know if we have the, uh... Necessary stuff for another milestone or not. We probably have gotten some produce while we were away. These guys look like they've been, uh, at least working somewhat. Concrete is being produced continuously again, so that's nice. Oh, we have to uh, do the space elevator thing in order to unlock the next tier. All right, let's see what we learned about purple power slugs. The crystals on this slug can be harvested and converted into five power shards that function with current fix-it technology. Several buildings would be capable of performing over 100% capacity, if infused. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 3. Purple shards! Overclock! Did you overclock your factory buildings? Mucus from power slugs? Now we can make five of them. Alright. So that's nice. Let's put our work in progress thing, our other crazy crystals, the motors we can keep. Um... We need to get the Caterium ore researched when we're, we have a chance. We can put our adventuring supplies away. And we've got our slugs. Alright. Well, that was a cool little adventure, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. And we'll be back next time on Satisfactory when we launch the next bit of stuff up through the space elevator. And then we'll uh, maybe go take on the Angry Cave. Depends on how much more production line stuff we need to set up. How's our power doing? We might need to set up a little bit more power to do that. But yeah, we'll see you next time. Goodbye.